What's cracking? It's your boy Don on night. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to make a DIV overlay MySpace layout. Now it's gonna be split up into three parts. This is part one, the tools you're gonna need. First, Photoshop. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS3 Extended, but you can use any version you have. Or you can use a program called GIMP or Paint. And when I say Paint, I don't mean Paint as the paint that comes with your computer. It's a program that you can get from getpaint.net. It's similar to Photoshop. Second, you will need Handy Image Mapper. Now I'm going to include a link in the text, uh, the description for Handy Image Mapper, so you don't have to go looking for it. And basically what it does is image map your image for you. We're going to be going over that later on in the tutorial, probably in video three. Third, you're going to want the major internet browsers, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari to cross-reference with each one to make sure your layout looks best on every browser so that if somebody is using Safari instead of Internet Explorer and you made it your layout on Internet Explorer so it looks its best on Safari too. I always use Safari but I always cross-reference all my work with all the other browsers including AOL so I suggest go get all the browsers but Photoshop, Handy Image Mapper and browsers are basically your tools in here now you're going to need a code unless you want to completely code the DIV by yourself and if you don't know any HTML that might be hard so I have a pre-made code I did not make it um, I think RSV Designs made it and I modded it. I also am going to include a link in the text for that. You can go ahead and download that. And basically you just fill it out, which is going to be in video three, how to fill that code out. And you're going to have a MySpace layout similar to mine and some of the top bands that pay big designers to do their layouts. And it will give you a little more understanding on HTML and CSS once we get into video 3 and actually code the layout. So this is the end of this video and go on to part 2 to see how to design your layout. Then part 3 will be how to code the layout. Peace.